Hello, brothers and sisters. It's Mike from We Are the Saints. I have another message for you, and um, I pray that the Lord um, will allow those who hear this to have their ears opened and their eyes opened so that they might see. And it is a very specific message. Uh, typically when it's urgent or it's um, it has a very specific purpose. I don't like to fill my, myself, my face. Uh, and the Lord has shown me to um, offer it this way. So I ask in the Lord's name, he was called Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, Elohim and Adonai. He was called Jehovah and Yahweh. I ask that these words are of truth and spirit, and they are by your mouth, Lord, and I am your servant who is speaking the words for you. I pray that you listening to this will be blessed, that you will have eyes to see and ears to hear. The message goes as follows. Thus saith the Lord, Behold the vessels of the Lord, vessels of honor and vessels of dishonor. Yet, said among them, there are many who count themselves worthy as vessels of honor, yet they are corrupt, having been filled with all manner of falsehoods, bitter doctrine, and perverse traditions, doctrines and traditions born of men, and the evil one, which I hate. Men in authority, you know not the truth, nor do I reside in them. Leaders who fed to the masses in my own name food, which has greatly spoiled. Scraps, from even which the dogs turn away. Meat only to be cast into the fire, says the Lord. Therefore, I have gathered to myself a special offering of the number, empty vessels void of all doctrine taught within the churches of men. And these, and all those these have sinned in the body, as have all men, they were easily cleansed, fully immersed in the blood of the Lamb, of which they have both drank and accepted. Behold, the chosen vessels of the Lord, they have been washed and made clean, both in the body and spirit, remade and set up as vessels unto great honor, meat for the Master's use. Behold, they have been filled with pure water, which shall be continually poured out into the cups of the thirsty. I am the Lord. Yet, what of all these vessels, which have been filled with all manner of bitter and foul doctrine? Shall I pour the pure water into these, mixing the pure with the polluted, and the clean with the corrupted? Surely not, for they have sat long and unmoving, their contents stagnant and rank, fermenting. Thus, when vessels such as these fill the cups of the thirsty, my people become ill, even drunk by the contents. For none are able to receive the truth as it really is, nor will they accept it when it comes. They have all become intoxicated. They are all drunk. They are intoxicated with the doctrines of men. They are drunk with the ways of the world. They are corrupt. Their works abominable. There is none righteous, no, not one. Therefore, every vessel of dishonor shall be broken, all contents purged in the heat of the day of the Lord. How easily men give heed to the cleansing of the sin of the body, yet all oh, how they resist the cleansing of the spirit. For they do always resist the truth when it comes, believing within themselves that they are already clean, deceiving themselves. For this reason, I have set apart a special offering, even 144,000, my witnesses, who I have cleansed and made virgin in spirit. These shall guide you out of the fire, so you may escape. Yet those who resist shall be led through, as it were, refined by fire. I am the Lord. And that was the end of the message. Um, a couple things I wanted to mention was uh, a while back I did, um, I had a dream, a very vivid dream, which I recorded a, a long time ago. Uh, if you go back into my channel, you'll see. This is exactly what the dream was showing me. Almost 
well, I wouldn't say word for word, but it was very, very similar to this. Basically, it was this uh, manner of speech that I received from the Lord in a dream. And uh, it was, I interpreted, the Lord showed me, gave me confirmations how to interpret it. I interpreted it as well. And uh, there are, there are, there's another video that I did about the 144,000 that also talks about this. And I wanted to be very clear that, you know, there are certain things that are in scripture that you have to read with eyes to see and ears to hear. It's not always about the physical. Many times in scripture, he's referring to the spirit. So, for example, where it says they have been cleansed and made virgin in spirit. Uh, in scripture, it says that they are, they have not defiled themselves with women and they are virgins. They are not physically of a physical virgins. They are virgins in spirit because they have not allowed themselves to be full of the doctrines of men. And I, I went through this on a previous video. So you can go ahead and go back and take a look. Um, this was a very short message, but it's poignant in the fact that whoever's listening to this, Please be aware, if you are lukewarm, or if you hear this after the rapture has taken place, look, watch, and look for those who are the 144,000. Again, I've already mentioned, talked about this in a previous video. Go back and watch it. Uh, it it's very enlightening. Um, there's something else I wanted to mention. Well, I guess that's it. Anyway, everyone, I uh, I hope that this has uh, blessed someone out there listening. Um, keep up the good work. Don't take your foot off the gas pedal. The finish line is within sight. There are still a few things that have to happen before the end comes with the rapture. But in the meantime, share these videos. Speak to your neighbors. Speak to your friends. Speak to strangers. Let's get the message out. God bless you all. I love you. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.